Hello everybody and welcome to this little mini edit. Today we have a photo that was taken at a Santa shoot. I'm entitling it A Boy and His Dog and we're going to edit this raw image in the style of Norman Rockwell. Let's get started. So I'm going to try and go through this pretty fast for you. Step one is crop the image to a size that I like. And then we're going to enlarge it a little bit, move onto the sharpening tool and get the eyes, the nose and mouth of all of our subjects here, including the puppy. Next thing I'm going to be working on is getting in at those puppy's eyes. We've got a little bit of pet eye here, so the eyedropper tool and then the paint brush, choosing the color, and then let's darken that a little bit. Next thing I want to do is lighten up the edge of those eyes. So I'm just going to go to the, um, the dodge tool and we're going to get the side of that eye. Not too much. Too much makes it look fake. Next thing that we're going to do is we're just going to add a little bit to the shadows. Oh, no, before I do that, I wanted to do the color in the faces. They're a little bit washed out, so I wanted to add just a little bit of warmth in there. It's winter. We're all a little bit pale in winter. And then the next thing I wanted to do is add a little bit of shadow into all of the garments that we're wearing. Make sure that when you're adding your shadows, you use a very, very light hand on that because too much it, it just looks really, really bad. So very lightly, very quickly, let's go through this little bit by little bit. You work at your own pace. I like to concentrate on one item or one area at a time where I tend to lose where I'm going. One thing I will say, it's important that you start with a nice clean image to begin with. If you don't have a nice sharp image, there's really not a whole lot that you can do. There's a few things, but not a whole lot you can do to improve upon it. So for the best results, you want to have a good image to start with. Okay, just picking up all of the details here on Mrs. Lush. She's got a lot of details to her. Well, this was quite the costume. Really, really beautiful. And the last thing we start working on is the puppy. I tend to just stick to the areas that define the, that particular animal. So I'm going to make sure that some of the other things uh, stick out. There we go, shaping his face. Okay, added another layer, and now I'm just adding a bit of highlight here. Again, just sticking to the areas that really define the looks of this individual pup and bringing up a little bit of the shine on the fur. Too much of this, and you can actually change the texture of the fur, and then it doesn't look like the same animal that they brought into you to be photographed. I just bring out a few of the highlights here and there. So we're going to be moving on to working in Lightroom pretty soon. All I do in Photoshop is pretty much dodge and burn everything. We don't really do a whole lot at all. Just bring the last of those lights up. Making sure that that brings our subjects forward a bit. I'm 
Okay, and moving on to Lightroom. What we're going to do in Lightroom is work mostly with the brush tool. I'm going to take the brush tool and I'm going to work on similar areas. And what I do here is, uh, I don't really work with the exposure, but I'll do a little bit with the contrast, with clarity, with a little bit of dehaze in there. Definitely, um, oops, sorry guys. <laughs> I just kind of got lost in what I was doing there. As you can see, I work one area at a time the same way as I did the dodging and the burning. And we just want to add a little bit more texture where the fur areas are as well. Okay. The reason I work on little individual areas is because everything has different kinds of textures and you don't want to apply the same treatment to absolutely everything. In some cases, I'll lighten a little bit. In some cases, I'll saturate a little bit more. I'm going to do this little chair, but I don't think it really makes a whole lot of difference with the chair. It brings out a little bit of the detail when I texturize it, but it's not going to make a huge amount of change. Okay, and again with the pop, we're really not going to touch texture at all this time with the brush. We will add a little bit of clarity to this pup, and I will do a little bit with the exposure on him, just because I want to bring him forward and make him stand out. Okay, and the last thing I do is I work on the skin tone, so you have to be really careful here. All I do with this is add a little bit of saturation, not too much. We just want to bring that up. Then a little bit of texture, teeny, teeny, tiny bit of texture and clarity to that. And we move on to work on globally. And we're just going to work on luminosity. Oops, I forgot something. Sorry. Um, we're just mostly going to work on luminosity and contrast. Yeah. Bring those colors up. It really is quite a simple edit. And there we go. In the style of a Roman Rockwell painting before and after. Thank you guys for watching me. I really enjoy doing these little tutorials. I hope you enjoy them too. If you do, give me a little bit of a like and maybe subscribe subscribe to my channel. <laughs> oh, you guys, Merry Christmas and thanks once again. Bye-bye.